a likely majority win for President Recep Tayyip Erdogan's AK party in Turkey today. But is Erdogan back on top? The elections in Turkey today, a rerun of a similar round held in June this year, were anticipated with much trepidation. In the five months since the last set of parliamentary elections in Turkey failed to produce a clear winner, the country has been severely shaken by terrorist attacks and become more deeply polarized than before. And as Turks returned to the ballot box Sunday amid increasing security concerns, results were already expected to be similarly inconclusive. This is an election that will secure the stability and trust, and I want stability to win in this country. I want trust, unity and solidarity to win. I want Turkey to win. The June vote delivered a still memorable blow to the rule of President Recep Tayyip Erdogan and his Justice and Development Party, or AKP, after 12 years of dominance. The AKP has been Turkey's dominant political party since 2002. It lost parliamentary majority for the first time in June and is known as an Islamist party that has acted against the country's secular laws. The AK party's dominance was threatened when the pro-Kurdish People's Democratic Party, or HDP, crossed the 10% threshold, securing seats in parliament for the first time. The HDP is a democratic and socialist party. It has an environmentalist and anti-capitalist agenda, and it was backed by Kurds in the June elections. I hope the good results of these elections will be a relief to those who lost their loved ones on the way for peace, freedom and democracy. We have no doubt that results will allow people to be optimistic about the future, no matter what will come out of the ballot box. Now, after bombing attacks rocked Ankara, killing nearly 100 people last month, Erdogan is hoping concerns over terrorism would sway the votes in his favor. The president had blamed the attacks on Islamic State militants and Kurdish fighters, forcing the pro-Kurdish HDP to scale back its election campaign. But fears were mounting ahead of the elections that Erdogan may take unfair measures in order to win. HDP leader Salahuddin Demirtas said on Saturday that some of his party's officials had been taken into custody and questioned whether the election would be unfair. And despite the achievement for Erdogan in today's elections, analysts say that Sunday's vote is unlikely to resolve the deep divisions that still remain within Turkish society.